go. Praise the living Jesus. How are you doing today, sirs and mercy? I hope you're doing good. I am so excited. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. And also, most especially, it's Christmas season. We give God the glory. Uh, by the grace of God, we're going to be reflecting again about the, the wonderful arrival of our Savior and the purpose of His coming. God is going to bring us to that moment we're going to hear and we're going to learn more about those uh, messages the Lord grant unto us in Jesus' name. But before we go into today's word, um, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. I expect by the grace of God you're doing well, your family is safe, everyone is in good health, everyone is good. And I pray may the Lord continue to keep us safe. May the Lord continue to be our defense, our shepherd in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, God bless you. Let's pray before going to the, the word of God today. Our Heavenly Father, we give you the glory, we give you the praise. We say thank you again for this privilege. We say thank you again for this opportunity even to hear your word. We pray that as we listen to your word, you speak to us. Even by yourself, you will speak to us. You will teach us and you help us to understand your purpose and your will. Who will be the doer of your word in the name of Jesus Christ? Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sis. And God bless you, man. Now, today we're going to be talking about the second part, and which is the final part, part two of the message titled, You Are On Camera. You Are On Camera. Part two, the final part. Uh, on the part one, we, we made to understand, we saw, we saw the story of a prophet, Prophet Elisha. We saw his servant, Gehazi. We saw the man, a strong, a mighty man, a soldier, a captain, even the captain of the army of a king, of a foreign king, coming to Israel to be healed. And the God of Israel, Jehovah, grants this man healing. And this man becomes transformed. But our focus of that message was actually more con con concerning the servant, Gehazi. Reflecting on the message, on the topic, you on camera. This servant behind the prophet, be behind his master, went to meet this new, this new converted man, this new converted soldier. And lied again the prophet, lied against the prophet, lied even to take gift from this man who has just been born again, a new convert. He got gifts and returned to his master. But it was unfortunate to him, of which was the consequence of his action, lying against the man of God, lying against the prophet, never, uh, never knowing that he was on camera. And we encourage to be careful of our actions, even at the absence of others, to always know that God sees us in whatever and wherever we are, whatever we do, even if the person you're talking about is not present. And today, part two, we're actually having some uh, slight um, focus on something else. But before we actually go into uh, more details, let's see, uh, let's come directly from the next chapter because um, for the part one, we focus on 2 Kings chapter 5, right? And now we're going to just move just the next chapter and we're going to see on this part two to reflect what is going on. So, 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse from verse 8 now the king of syria was making war against israel and remember even the king of israel at that time when the king of syria sent naaman the uh, captain of the army to him to get healed it was like am i god that i should heal this man look at how he's trying to make quarry and now this even despite the king of Syria uh, got what he needed. His servants, the, um, the captain of his army got healed. Now at this point, he's still trying to make war. Verse 8, chapter 6, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 8. Now the king of Syria was making war against Israel and he consulted with his servants, saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel, saying, Beware that you do not pass this place, for the Syrians are coming down there. Verse 10. Then the king of, 
Then the king of Israel sent someone to the place of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him and he was watchful there, not just once or twice. Verse 11. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing. And he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? The king was frustrated. I pray that may the Lord arrest all our enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a great and mighty God. He is able to see even the plans of the enemies and expose it to us. I pray may the, may the Lord expose the plans of your enemies to you and may the Lord arrest them all in the name of Jesus. May the Lord arrest all enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The king was frustrated and he was like, can you just tell me who is like revealing our secret? Like we are discussing here, how is the king of Israel knowing about our plan? Praise the Lord. May the Lord arrest all our enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's move into the book of John. John chapter 1. John chapter 1, remember you are on camera. God sees you whatever you do, even if you are talking at the absence of someone. Be careful, be careful because God sees you. Don't let the anger of God come upon you. Even just like part 1, Gehazi got the consequence of his, um, of his misconduct. One, he lied. And two, he, he, he forgot that he was on camera. And that was why he even lied like and you shouldn't have even taken the action, even like going behind the master to get gifts. May the Lord help us. You're on camera, you're on camera. John chapter 1 from verse 47, from verse 47. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Be old and Israelites indeed, in whom is no deceit. Now this, 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 this time around, Jesus is trying to let this this uh, Nathaniel right understand that I I could see you. Let's let's read and get more. Verse forty eight. Nathaniel said to him, "How do you know me?" Jesus answered and said to him, "Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you." Nathaniel answered and said to him, "Rabbi." You are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Most assuredly, I said to you, Yea, after you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the son of man. You are on camera. God sees you. Be careful of your actions. Be careful of your of your plans. Be careful. And if you are if you are engaging in wrong activities, in wrong plans, in wrong discussions to hurt someone, to, to against someone, repent now. Change your plans because you are on camera. God can send his words towards you. God sees you. And probably because you are on camera, this message is even coming to you right now. So therefore, change your plans. If you are planning evil, if you are planning harm, if you are planning art against someone else, you have to change it right now and repent. Which simply means forsake those plans and reconsider your plans. Pardon the person. Let go, commit, the, commit your face into the hand of God and let the Lord take control. I pray may the Lord help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, we're going to go into chapter 4, verse 16. John chapter 4, verse 16. We want to see another, another perspective of, of knowing and understanding that indeed we are on camera. So therefore, we need to be conscious. We need to be careful. And also, most importantly, we need to put our trust in God because He sees all things. 
as we began, saying that God is going to deliver us from our enemies from 2 Kings chapter 6. God is able to reveal, to reveal the plans of the enemies to you. So put your trust in God. Whatever the situation, put your trust in God. God sees all things. He knows all things. If he hasn't revealed it to you, doesn't mean he is not aware. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. John chapter 4, verse 16. John chapter 4, verse 16. Let's see the, the, the this conversation, this conversation between Jesus, between Jesus and this woman. And Jesus is trying to reveal to this woman, like, if 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 you if you decide not to tell me the truth, I'm gonna reveal it to you that yes, like I know the truth. If I'm just asking you a question, it doesn't mean that I don't already know the real fact, the answer to the question. I just want you to tell me the truth. John chapter 4. It says, verse 16, just to the main point. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. See Jesus' response. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. It's not just a prophet. It's indeed the Savior, the, the Messiah, the Christ, the Redeemer. Praise the Lord. You are on camera. You are on camera. God understands your situation. He understands your purpose. Put your trust in Him. He understands the situation. At the condition of Job, like, during those stressful moments, just like the message we had, the, the unbearable pain. During those stressful moments, it's going to be as if, ah, is God not seeing me? Ah, I'm like, ah. And so likewise, we, these days, this time around, we might also be going through diverse of challenges, diverse of difficulties. Yes, God sees us. But he's trying to bring something out. And so therefore, regardless of the situation, let's put our trust in God because we are on camera. He sees us. He knows us. Let's put our trust in God and depend on him. And in regards to our enemies, he's able to expose their work and disgrace them. And the Lord shall do so in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be by the word of God. So always remember, says a mess, you are on camera. You are on camera. Be careful. Don't speak against the servant of God. Don't speak against others. Be careful of who you are trying to deceive. Just like the part one, the, as the servant of, of, of the prophet went to lie to this new convert. God forbid that this new convert hear about it. How is he going to feel? Like, I, I thought you are a, a, a servant of a prophet. I thought you are a Christian, a good Christian. How will you have done that to me, lied to me? And... God forbid that such person now turn back just because of that mistake, just because of that error, just because of that lie, just because of the gifts. He went to lie to a new convert. Be careful. Be careful. Don't let, don't let people turn away from God because of your action. I pray that the... Hey, Children of God, uh, the children of the kingdom will not be will, will not be lost just because of your actions in the name of Jesus Christ. And which simply means those that have been those that have surrendered themselves to the Lord Jesus Christ will not go back from him just because of you, just because of your actions. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. You on camera, you on camera. It is a, uh, it is a message of awareness. It is a message of consciousness. It is a message of understanding that yes, God sees all things. Put your trust in Him. Depend on Him. And may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the final part and God bless you. And I will encourage you in case you've not seen the part one, please watch the part one. You are on camera, part one. And this is part two. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas in advance and look forward to our messages in Christmas. God bless you and I wish you a prosperous New Year 2022 in advance in the name of Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, when the year runs around, we will be here together again, sharing the word of God, learning together and growing more to be who God expects us to be, pleasing, praising and glorifying the name of our God forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again. As always, this is I'm for Christ Gospel Messages. God bless you. See you next time. God bless you.